What's up, world? Welcome back to another episode of Whiskey and Wrestling. You know, two things to make the perfect match. We're your hosts, HBK9 Guy, the Cowboy. Get ready, folks, because shit's about to hit the fan. And the beat the man you got to beat the man. Hey, you know what it is. It's AEW Predictions, baby. Let's get it. It's Revolution. One of the biggest pay-per-views they have. Hey, One of my every, favorites, every, almost every AEW pay-per-view is, is, is fire. Fire. This is at least a match of the year candidate on every card. And my fav- one of my favorite wrestlers are retiring yes. this year. Shout out to the icon Sting. I've been following Sting since I was a kid. Yes. And he's done a lot for the wrestling world, wrestling entertainment business. And he will go down as one of the best I ever did. Well, this is Sting's retirement match. I, on the other hand, I am lucky enough to go down to Greensboro, North Carolina yes, this yes, Sunday to watch month. Sting retire. These boys don't get to go, but you know, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go on down, vlog it up. You know what it is. Let's kick it off, man. Let's go. Pick now, for the ones that uh, we haven't been really, you know, been doing prediction videos here lately. We're on different time schedules yeah. for work, so we kind of just do it through chat. Just speed y'all up on some things. RB3 was a champion entering the year. Uh, we made a new rule at the beginning of the year. It used to be if you tied, the tie goes to the champ. But now if you tie with the champ, y'all become co-champions. So the Rumble and Elimination Chamber, me and RB3 both tied. So we are both the co-champion. I'm hoping to take it from him this nah. fucking time. He's hoping to be a champion again for once. But you I've know, been picking with my heart and not my brain. It's hey, but it smart. is. Let's kick it off here. He's not here. So he's going first. You're going second. I'm going third. Where, uh, where is RB3 shirts coming soon? <laughs> <laughs> I'd wear it. <laughs> All right. First match is an all-star scramble match. The winner will receive a future AEW world title shot. We have Chris Jericho versus Warlow versus Powerhouse Hobbs versus Lance Archer versus Hook, Brian Cage, Magnus, and Dante Martin. AEW has a way of putting these matches together that are just come out of nowhere. Well, the backstory of this match was it was supposed to be a Meat Mattis match. It's supposed to be Lance Archer, Warlow, Powerhouse Hobbs, Keith Lee, and Miro. Mm-hmm. But Miro and uh, Keith Lee were injured, so he just made this match for a number one contenders match. Um, do I need to repeat who's in this I'm match? I'm taking Hook. He's taking Hook. RB3 and me have both taken Warlow. It's probably a pre-show match, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, next match on the card is a tag team match. We have FTR versus John Moxley and Claudio Casanoli. Normally, I don't go against the Blackpool Combat Club, but I'm going against the Blackpool Combat Club for FTR. Because FTR is the greatest tag team. Um, RB3 has selected FTR. I have selected the Blackpool Combat Club. I know. What? It hurts. It hurts. What? It hurts, dog. It hurts. Oh, it hurts. Man. It hurts. Trust me, it hurts. That was a curveball. Uh-huh. It hurts. All right. Next match is a singles match for the AEW TNT Championship. We have Christian Cage defending against Daniel Garcia. I'm taking... Christian Cage. We have all three taken Christian Cage. I just Darren Garcia is a great young wrestler. Yeah. I just don't think he's the one to take it from Christian. No. Nah. What Christian has going right now with being a heel, talking about people's fathers. It's just it's it's fucking gold, bro. He, it is gold. He really brought the value of that belt up. Yes. It's asking. it's gold. Yeah. Next match. Potential. To be the match of the night, maybe the match of the year. Maybe. Will Ospreay versus Kenosuke Takeshima. That's going to be a dope match. Um, I'm going Will Ospreay. We all three have taken Will Ospreay. This is his debut. His actual debut match being a full-time wrestler for AEW. I don't see them losing. I will say that Ospreay, to me, is the best pound-for-pound wrestler in yep. the world right now. Yep. I think with the thing, how things got heated on Dynamite between Osprey Kanosuke Kanteshka, whatever the fuck mm. his name is, and the Don Callis family, I think the United Empire, which consists of 
oh, uh, Fletcher and Osprey and them, I think they'll start feuding with the Don Callis family. I think that's a feud I'd like to see. All right, the next match is another title match. This is for the Continental Championship, the Ring of Honor World Championship, and the New Japan Strong Openweight Championship. And also, there's another thing. If Danielson loses, he has to shake Eddie Kingston's hand. So we have Eddie Kingston defending all those belts against Brian Danielson. I think it's, uh, it's pretty late in Brian's career to win all those titles. I think Eddie deserves it. I think he has a lot of momentum. After beating him so many times in the last couple weeks? I don't think he loses. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me to let Brian Danielson beat him. All right, let me ask you this. Titles. Let me ask you this. Do you want Eddie Kingston going into Supercard of Honor as your Ring of Honor World Champion, or do you want Brian Danielson going into the Ring of Honor, Supercard of Honor as the World Champion? I want my drunk uncle, Eddie <laughs> Kingston, to go in as champion. Uh, RB3 has selected Brian Danielson, and I cannot believe I'm, I'm saying... I'm picking with my heart once again. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I guess I'm, pe- I'm picking his drunk uncle. I'm uh, taking Eddie Kingston, man. <laughs> I'm taking Eddie Kingston. I don't know why... I people wanted, like people like Eddie. I want to see Brian Danielson win a title, but I just I don't know. If it wasn't for all three, yeah, and it was just for one, yeah. I'd be okay with Danielson. But all three, I'm like, ah, yeah. I don't know, yeah. I don't know. Next match is for the international championship. We have Orange Cassidy defending against Roderick Strong. This is a no brainer. I like my orange juice in the morning. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> He's taking freshly squeezed freshly orange squeezed. Cassidy. Me and RB3 have also taken Roderick Strong. They're going to lose. <laughs> we took <laughs> Roderick Strong. I just feel like it's time for a new person to be holding that belt. He's had that belt for a little while. I don't think Strong's the person to be him. All right. All right. Uh, next match is a three-way match for the AEW World Championship. We have Samoa Joe defending against Adam Hangman Page and Swerve Strickland. Now, everybody knows I'm a fan of Joe. I'm a fan of Swerve. He's a fan of Hangman, right? Because I'm the captain. Swerve is going to be the first black AEW champion. Samoa Joe has solidified himself as one of the best wrestlers, you know, that's done done it. He's... Decorated with championships, but I don't think Swerve wins in a three-way. That would be the I, best I way for him to I win in a think, three-way. I don't know. I don't think Swerve wins in a three-way, so I'm going some more with Joe. So you're gonna tell me with them adding? I'm taking Joe. I don't think Swerve wins in a three-way. I want to see Swerve beat Joe one on fucking. One. See, that's the thing. That's where I don't think it'll happen because this is why they've got three people. So if Joe loses, Joe doesn't have to be involved in the pinfall. Swerve can pin, ping, pin Hangman, and he's a new champion. Why not pin Joe one on Because it makes Joe look weak if they lose him to Swerve like that one on one. Swerve is a fucking All race. right, so you're taking Samoa Joe. I'm taking Joe. RB3 is taking Samoa Joe. I've also taken Samoa Joe. I know. Yeah, he's trying, he trying to trick me up. I've also taken Trying Samoa to trick me up. All right, on paper, what do you Whoa, we're not paper? done. We're not done. We're not done. I, I thought we were done. I forgot AEW has so many matches. There's one it's match crazy. left, and this is the most important match of the night. All right, what's the last match? Tornado Tag Match for the AEW World Tag Team I forget, Champions. How can I forget about my boy Sting? We have Sting and Darby Allin defending forgot, the tag I forget, belts I forgot about against that. Matthew and Nicholas Jackson, the Young Bucks. Who you got? I want to see Sting go out as a champion, but then it's like if he wins, does he defend? Who defends with Darby? I don't know. Uh, I'm taking the Bucks. Darby three has selected Sting and Darby uh, out. Who did? I mean, if he wins, what do they go vacant? Does Darby pick a new partner? Like, what happens with this? Like, you know, I have taken. Sting and Darby Allen. Why? What happens? Do they you, go had ju- you just said what they're going to do. Sting's never going to lose a match in AEW. I'm taking, I'm taking Sting and Darby. That was my curveball. I fooled them. I tricked them. I'm going with Sting and Darby. That's what they're going to do. Sting and, <laughs> Sting and Darby's going to win. And Sting's going to retire. They're going to vacate the belts. Darby's going to take some time off to go do what he wants to do. 
and they're going to have a tag team Just tournament. remember, I called it. I wanted to trick them up. <laughs> Document. It's, it's going to be a tournament held for that. So. I think Sting and them goes out. That's the chance. That's the chance. And it, if it, it better be the main event. Yeah. It better be the it main better event. It better be the main event. On paper, what are you giving it? Last pay-per-view, World's End, they let me down. Yeah. It was the worst pay-per-view ever in AEW, but I guess WWE has bad pay-per-views. Yeah. Uh, I don't see Revolution being a bad pay-per-view. I think... It'll be the second best pay-per-view until we get to Mania. I give it a 3.5 on paper. 3.5, and it could push a 4 like it always does. I'm giving it a 3.5 on paper. All because if Sting and them going last and they deliver, that'll be that obviously raises points. That match will be a banger. Danielson and Kingston, they put on a hell of a fucking yeah, banger. Yeah. So that's gonna be a banger. Osprey. Osprey Kinesh mm-hmm. Takesha, that's gonna be a banger. Mm-hmm. FTR and fucking BCC, that's gonna be a banger. Mm-hmm. So we got a chance of taking it to a four, four and a half, four and a quarter. Mm-hmm. But it ain't gonna be nothing below a three and a half. This is I'll tell you right now. This is gonna be better than Elimination Chamber, and almost be as good as the Rumble. People, I actually like the Chamber, but I don't think it was the best. I, I think it was better than World's End. Yeah. Chamber was better than World's End, but I think I'm excited. For All that. right, what you got? You got any predictions? Surprise. Surprises? I don't know. I want to see Sasha come out, but she's not gonna come. She'll out. be there Wednesday. Did we do? Uh, ain't Tony Storm though? Doesn't she have a match on the card? Did she? I'm pretty sure Tony Storm has. A if match it did, they took it off. Cause I let me double check. I'm glad you brought that up. Cause I might have overlooked her. I did overlook <laughs> her. My bad. Well, I mean, all right. Oh, that's my I bad. That's my here. bad. That's my bad. Like, I'm tired, no, man. I just got off no, work, man. All right, we got the AEW Women's World Championship. We have Timeless Tony Storm versus Deanna Peraza. Mm-hmm. Who you got? Peraza is a monster. Peraza is a monster, and. I, I just can't see Tony Storm losing to her right now. I think eventually she might win a title. But she I'm take taking, Tony Storm? I'm taking Tony Storm. We all took Tony Storm. A little 15 second hiccup, but it ain't no big deal. You, you think see... Sasha comes out for this match or no? No, Sasha will be there Wednesday. If you ain't paid attention, this this coming Wednesday is supposed to be in Boston, Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. And you know how they spell ball, like Boston? Mm-hmm. They got it as boss with two dollar yeah, signs. Yeah. She's gonna be there. She's gonna be there. She's gonna debut. Um we might get Okada. We might. We might get Okada. We, we get Okada, I'd be happy. Um I'm gonna be there. I can't fucking wait. First AW pay per view. This guy's going to see his thing retire. I'm gonna try He's to get going. as I'm trying to get as close to the ring as I can. For whatever. I'm not buying tickets until I get down there to hope I can get a chance to get something close. What if you get down there and the tickets are sold out? They're not. <laughs> I'm just saying. They have resale tickets. Oh, I'm just going right. down to the box office to see if they got any leftover, like, their tickets, not resale any tickets. Any surprises from you? Uh, I like this. I want to. God, I want to see MJF back again, bro. I just want. I miss him. Does, miss, does AEW doesn't feel the same without MJF? No, MJF just it made AEW man. It made me want to watch it every. I still watch it every yeah, week, yeah, yeah. but it's just like his his mouth mm-hmm. promos. It's just it was entertaining, mm-hmm. it was entertaining. But hey, you know what it is? It's almost time. It's Revolution. Next we got WrestleMania, Ring of Honor, WrestleMania Night Two. We got a long weekend ahead of us. So y'all stay tuned. This is what it is. HBK9 guy, the cowboy. This is Whiskey Rips. We out this bitch.